The year is 2017, and the Fremantle Dockers are in a state of turmoil. After four consecutive years in the top eight, they've missed finals in the previous two seasons, and the entire club is feeling the pressure. As the players slog their way through a gruelling pre-season, the critics are out in force, with everyone writing the Dockers off for season 2018. The team finally get their chance to respond where it matters, on the field in round one. We're underway, the opening bounce, Burn Jones, aims for his man on the ground, controlled by Pollock. The loose ball scooped up, Ryan with the pass, Hamling doesn't want it, he hands it back, booted by Johnson, Walters looking a real threat up, sends it on its way, strong mark, Neil kicks, Pittard was surrounded, he needed to mark it, and he did. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Burn Jones aims for his man on the ground. Like working in a telephone box. Look at him go. Dixon will get the free. Dixon lines it up 15 metres out. Going for goal number one. Goal. When he's on song, he sings a very good song. On. Kicks it across the ground. Strong mark. Valentine slams it on the boot. That was all dressed off at one. A desperate kick there. Steady hands there as he holds that one. He kicks it. Fremantle with a lot to think about as they trail by six. Before Port Adelaide can win a game, they have to not lose it. A low-scoring quarter. Let's hope it picks up next turn. Decisively. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Ebert taps it. Neil was taken hard. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies, just get them in flying formation. You'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. It's in the air. Valentine, not the worst shot for goal, but those who are worse wouldn't need to hire the Maya Music Bowl to hold a convention. The Dockers get the free kick as it goes out on the full. Booted by Pinnock, lining up the goal now. Valentine unloads one towards goal. The Dockers get there first. Solid use of the body then. He goes for home. Polek with the shot. Polek gets the goal with an ambitious kick. Collected by Matera. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Heads up the corridor. Kicked in a flurry. He picks up the loose ball. Kicked by Ballantyne. Fremantle can still catch up here, but does need improvement. Gets boot to high. Mundy soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. Opportunity for Matera, 45 metres out. The Dock is with a chance to take the lead if this one sails through. The Dock is to win the lead. Tap to advantage. Pollock is able to grab it on the half volley. Kicks it. Strong mark. Gets away okay. Gets boot to high. Pierce marks. Sends the Sharon on its way. Hartlett doesn't waste that opportunity. Westhoff puts it on the boot. Monday taps. Powell Pepper decisively. The siren sounds and that's the end of the second term. The scores the Dockers 13 to the Powell at 12. Players have been down to the rooms now and they would have had some treatment. A talk from the coach and should be ready for another half of football. I know we are. Make sure your worst enemy doesn't live between your own two ears. Puts good to ball. A great effort. Lining up the goal now. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Could be a game-changing kick from Pollock. A goal for Capel. A second goal in the bag. But Adelaide goes back in front. So defenders will have to be on their game. Burn Jones really wears his heart on his sleeve. He kicks the ball. Amon gathers the ball. He lays off the pass. Gray heading for goal. Port Adelaide get the goal. Teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Tapped 
by Sandilands. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. Kicks. Almost a touch of synchronized swing. Others. It's tapped down nicely. Jonas picks it up. Blakely collects it. Ebert with the football. Ebert takes possession. His approach looks good. Gray having no trouble taking that one. 25 metres out. Shot at goal by Gray. Goal to Port Adelaide. That's two in a row for Port Adelaide. But the ice-cold killer stare downs as they wait for the bounce. Hit by Burn Jones. Johnson gets the kick off before his pole axe by Rockcliffe. Motlop going for number one. Motlop scoring from a long bomb. This one gives them an even bigger lead. Hastily kicked. Motlop picks it up. He's really a ball magnet. He lays off the pass. Gets boot to leather. A good mark under the circumstances. Bennell with a short hand pass. Tucker boots it. Takes the mark all by himself. Which are you followed his career for a while? Can he kick this? If he misses this, I'd recommend a location change or get back to the back line. 45 metres out. Chalk up a goal for the Dockers. Fremantle is starting to drop behind. As both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Claimed by Sandilands. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. McCarthy just nudges the post. Bad luck. The pointing kick there. A kick to himself and play on by Westhoff. Tucker from behind. Trims the grass with that one. Out of nowhere, the ball shoots out of the pack. A goal for Fremantle. Hill takes possession. Monday to Lex. Smothered. Boat throws it clear as day. A good third quarter. What do you think, Richo? The Dockers will be pretty happy to go into the huddle and regroup. They never want to see you again. He's got the footy in his hands. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. He runs into the goal. Burn Jones. Kicks for goal. The power part 16. The bounce is dead straight. Sandlins really gets onto this one. Five hand passes it. Tucker. Again, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. Homs aims for his man on the ground. Materic with the ball. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Our big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50, with most of the Port Adelaide scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Missed them all. Out on the full. The ball on a string, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's an absolute ball magnet. He's racking up possessions. Gains possession. Gives it to the running man. Pollock kicks for goal. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. Fife kicks the ball. It gets tapped. That was a brave bump. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Pittard giving away a free. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark. As he lines the shot up. 25 metres out. McCarthy going for number two. Pinpoint accuracy from McCarthy. The Dockers no need to worry just yet. Go. Jams it on the boot now. Broadbent jumping at shadows. It's with him now. Ryan guides it. Johnson hand passes to space and hunts for the best. Gets a handball away. Fife with the running catch. Marked by Matera. Matera. The ball's in the air. Matura, three of the best, is putting on a clinic. The Dockers have scored the last two goals. And steal themselves before the bounce. Motlock may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Mundy boots it. Matera with the mark. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. He slams that on the boot. A clean pickup. The match is almost over, just waiting on the siren. Walters, he kicks it. Walters. The Dockers in front now. Set to bounce to restart the game. Motlop have seen better swings on a condemned playground. Pierce with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. He's got the football now. 
game this close always comes down to the last kick. Congratulations, Fremantle. The Fremantle Dockers' trademark never-say-die attitude gives them a hard-fought win in round one, easing the pressure, at least for another week. One game down, 21 to go. And the question everyone is asking, can the Dockers back it up in round two against the Bombers at Frio's new home ground?